We are asked to simplify the given expressions. We first have the square root of 192. Because we have a square root, or because the index is two, we need to find the perfect square factors of 192, and therefore let's determine the prime factorization of 192. 192 is equal to two times 96, two is prime. 96 is equal to two times 48, two is prime. 48 is equal to six times eight. Six is equal to two times three, both are prime. Eight is equal to four times two, two is prime. And four is equal to two times two. The prime factorization contains one, two, three, four, five, six factors of two and a factor of three. Let's write this as the square root of two times two times two times two times two times two times three. And now let's circle the perfect square factors. Well, two times two or two squared is the perfect square factor here, here, and here. So all this will simplify, and we'll be left with a three under the square root. Simplifying, the square root of two times two, or the square root of two squared simplifies to one factor of two here, here, and here, which gives us three factors of two outside the square root, and then we have times the square root of three. And two times two times two is equal to eight, giving us eight square root three. Next we have five square root 32 divided by eight. Again, the first step is to determine the perfect square factors of 32. Let's look at the prime factorization. 32 is equal to two times 16. And we can actually stop here if we recognize that 16 is a perfect square because 16 is equal to four times four. So for this example, we won't find the entire prime factorization. Let's stop here and write the expression as five times the square root of 16 times two, all divided by eight. And we'll go ahead and circle 16 because 16 is a perfect square factor. 16 is equal to four times four, or four squared. So because the square root of 16 is equal to four, this simplifies to five times four times the square root of two, all divided by eight. Before multiplying here, notice how we can simplify. We have a common factor of four between the numerator and denominator. There is one four and four and two fours and eight, which gives us five square root two all over two. This is a simplified expression. And now for the last expression, we have the quantity six plus four square root 48 divided by 12. Remember, we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction, and therefore we cannot simplify the six and the 12 here because of the addition. Once again, let's begin simplifying the square root of 48 by determining the perfect square factors of 48. Well, 48 is equal to, if we wrote 48 as three times 16, we could actually stop, again, because 16 is a perfect square. But let's just say we wrote 48 as six times eight, like we did before. Six is equal to two times three, both are prime. Eight is equal to four times two, two is prime. And four is equal to two times two, both are prime. So we can write this as the quantity six plus four times the square root of one, two, three, four factors of two and a factor of three. This is still all over 12. Well, here's a perfect square factor of 48, and here's another. The square root of two times two, or two squared, simplifies to one factor of two here and here, which gives us six plus four times two times two times the square root of three, all over 12. Well, four times two times two is equal to 16, which gives us six plus 16 square root three, all over 12. And now from here, we have two options to simplify. If we look at just the numerator, six and 16 share a common factor of two. So if we factor out two from the numerator, we would have two times the quantity three plus eight square root three, all divided by 12. In this form, we can simplify because we have a product here and there's a common factor of two. There's one two and two and six twos and 12. The final simplified expression is three plus eight square root three, all divided by six. Again, we cannot simplify the six and the three here because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction. But I also wanna show how we can simplify another way. So let's write this down here in the corner. We have three plus eight square root three divided by six. 
And let's go back to this step here. Another way to simplify this would be to break this up into two separate fractions where we have six over 12 plus 16 square root three over 12. These two expressions are equivalent and now we can simplify each fraction individually. Six and 12 share a common factor of six. There's one six and six and two sixes in 12. Notice how this simplifies the one half. Here, 16 and 12 share a common factor of four. There are four fours in 16 and three fours in 12. The expression can also be written as just one half plus four square root three over three. Notice how simplifying this way, the expression does look different, but it is equivalent. If we were to obtain a common denominator and add these two fractions, we would get the quantity three plus eight square root three divided by six. So either of these expressions are considered the simplified form of the given expression. I hope you found this helpful.